Bizarre MUFON case in California. X-Files on one of the tracks. Recently, a video appeared on several UFO channels which shows either a UFO or a UFO-like object, most likely belonging to the U.S. military. The video is interesting not so much with the picture as with the description of this whole story by an eyewitness, a truck driver. The video was posted on MUFON, and although, as the author pointed out, the incident itself took place back in 2016, what prompted the driver to release the video just now? As the driver, is the driver the author or some CIA agent involved in disclosure of contacts of U.S. military with aliens? The answers to these questions are a mystery. The aforementioned object is most likely a UAV since it's rather difficult to show the pilot into a box measuring 5 by 7 meters. There are, of course, precedents, for example, the XF-85 Goblin, which was just about the same dimensions, that is 5 meters long, 7 meters wide, wings, with wingspan. It was an experimental airplane that was suspended as a bomber and had an undock to undock and engage in battle only when enemy fighters appeared. It's unlikely that the U.S. military would prefer to go into more depth, so it was either a UV or an airplane controlled by something. So, for example, there is a conspiracy theory according to which little green men are actually nothing more than a product of genetic engineering of U.S. military created specifically to control new devices. A person's brains are sinister in them. In general, although everyone now has a lot of questions, the main thing that is clear and obvious is that the U.S. military may have some secret devices that fly without propellers or some other principles. And the simulation with them, the situation with them is somewhat similar to the appearance of the first regents in the Germans, with, by the Germans. The Allied pilots saw them quite often, but kept silent so that they would not be removed from flight and sent into the madhouse because planes do not fly without propellers. However, as you can see, they do fly. Moreover, not only without propellers, but also some fans and other jet turbines. Probably, we may soon see the combat use of these devices as well. This is on Solask. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.